So welcome to Our Generation with Melissa Shaw, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I'm super excited to have the very own Stephanie from Indie Chamber. Thank you for having me. Yes, we met at um, Seeds for Growth mm -hmm. with Katina. And then we met again at um, the event at um, downtown, at Alexander, yep. the Indie Chamber event. Our Women in Business event. That's yes. our signature event for the Central Indiana yes. Women's Business Center. So just tell the listeners about you and kind of your role within the organization, your passion. Just Great. Oh, well, I'm Stephanie James. I'm... Stop. <laughs> Should I look there? No, you can look here. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, you can look at me. Okay, so I'm Stephanie James. I'm the director of the Central Indiana Women's Business Center. It's under the umbrella of the Business Ownership Initiative at the Indy Chamber. And we exist to help women entrepreneurs at every level of business um, grow, scale, and succeed. I love that. How long have you been there? I've been there about a year and a half now. So what's your background prior to that? So my whole career has been spent right here in Indianapolis working um, in, with some of our most vulnerable populations and underserved communities. So I've done a lot of community work and I started at the chamber in the fall of 2022 now. So coming yeah. up on my second year anniversary yeah. and um, just with a passion and a heart for um, our neighborhoods, our communities, uh, building equity and you know really making sure that indy is a great place to live yeah work and play <laughs> absolutely so you um head up the women's development women's business center yeah mm -hmm. but, so can you tell a little bit tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. that so the women's business center it's a cooperative program with the um, u.s small business administration and as i said we exist to help we like to say all women at all levels yeah. and um, so whether you just have a business idea and you're wondering how to turn that into a reality or whether you have a side hustle and you're wanting to like make that a full-time job mm -hmm. or whether you own your own business and you're really looking for procurement and scaling opportunities uh, we exist to help you at every stage we offer free business coaching one-on-one uh, -on -one, it's virtual or we'll come to you nice. um, we do trainings out in the community we connect people to resources, as I sent out some grant opportunities yes, today. Yes, you did. Uh, we have lots of networking opportunities. You mentioned the uh, Women in Business Retreat. Yes. That's our signature event. But we do quarterly uh, Women in Business events to connect just not entrepreneurs, but women of all levels that want to support women entrepreneurship. You know, we have a lot of spending power and um, really just allowing us to network with other like-minded women. So um, that's what we do. And we also have access to capital. Nice. We offer so, a variety of small business loans, micro loans, uh, to help entrepreneurs grow and scale. That's amazing. Um, so what made you want to come and work in this particular um, arena in yeah, the chamber? Yeah. I, um, as I said, I have a passion for service. So, um, and I've always been a raging feminist. So that aspect appealed to me. But I also... Um, support what the Indie Chamber does as a whole. Um, we, as I said, we do a lot of events and a lot of economic development within the business community in Indy and in the larger Indy region. And I think it's important to, you know, I like being a part of an agency that is building a better Indy for all of us and a more inclusive Indy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as you were talking, I was thinking, um, how long, well, one, how long is this program? Has the, it been around for a uh -huh. while? So um, we've actually, the Central Indiana Women's Business Center has actually um, been around um, at least for the last like 15 years okay. at the chamber, but I feel like it's a well-hidden secret. Yeah. So um, I'm very thankful for the opportunity today because yeah, it absolutely. gives us the opportunity to spread the word about Definitely. what we do. Um, that's one of my goals is getting the word out more that resources are available. Yeah. Um, you're not alone. We yeah. see businesses all the time um, that, you know, they're passionate about what the business does, but it's a lot to be a business owner. Oh, my goodness, yes. <laughs> you know? It's like, let me just do what I love and I don't want to do. And we find, and you probably you find this too, just in conversations with business owners, um, they lack having the functionality of their business. Yes, or they place. feel overwhelmed yeah. or it's, or 
they don't know where to start. It's yeah. time consuming. And mm -hmm. um, a lot of times folks know more than they think. I think they just need like an accountability partner. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of what I do in our coaching relationship. Nice. Um, also, just make a lot of connections. Connections I, are, mm -hmm. I, I tell people all the time, connections are really, that and networking is the backbone of the business. Yes, it's it's true when they say like, it's not always about what you know, but who oh, you know. absolutely. And I try to tell folks a lot. I'm like, a lot of what I do, I, I'm not your tax expert or your legal yeah. expert or your HR person. What I am is a connector of people that might be able to help you, mm -hmm. of people that want to support you. Yeah. Um, and that's a lot of what the um, business community is doing at the Indy Chamber. We're a membership organization. We support other members. And so um, I lean on those resources through my coaching just to help connect business owners to the supports that they need. Yeah, absolutely. And I, with my nonprofit, I kind of do very similar, um, but I work more with a younger demographic. Um, right. Because I feel those are um, kind of left out. Yes. Um, just because going into a chamber event can be very intimidating. Yes. And so, girl, they, it's intimidating even for adults. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, right? So, just to be able to provide something on their level, mm -hmm. um, I'm still in the works of what that looks like, which I love because it's kind of evolving. Like, I right. just recently um, have a board member, he's 24 nice. on my board. Nice. Um, just because I want that level right. of awareness of I want your voice I want okay what do you need to see and because he's an entrepreneur and his organization wants to support entrepreneurs nice okay well what does that look like how can I help provide mm -hmm. the framework for you and connect you with people to be able to get make that happen I love it I love it um, one of the opportunities that I sent out today was grants for um, youth so nice. maybe he can take advantage of that yeah and then um, as I was we were kind of talking about before you know, we're also a micro lender. The Business Ownership Initiative is a certified SBA micro lender. Can you explain what that is? Mm -hmm. um, so we work with the SBA to, per to help people navigate um, the federal process of getting SBA loans, Small Business Administration loans, up to $50,000. And then we're also a community development financial institution, CDFI, which means uh, we exist to serve people that maybe can't access funding through traditional funding sources like banks or credit unions for a variety of reasons. It might be um, their credit score is too low, mm -hmm. or they haven't been in business long enough, yeah. or they have an immigration status. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be, we want to fill that gap. We don't right. want access to capital to be a barrier yeah. to some of our small businesses as, as we know it is. Yeah. Um, you're too young and maybe you don't have the credit history. Absolutely. Um, so a bank won't give you that credit. Yeah. So we exist to kind of fill that gap and say, let us, you know, help fund you and give you that capital so that you can start making gains. You mm -hmm. know, they say you got to spend money to make money sometimes. That is true. <laughs> so if someone we're interested in, would, are there anything that they need to do prior or have in place prior to coming to you? Yeah, so you can visit our website. The easiest thing to do is to visit our website at indychamber.com uh, entrepreneur services um, you can fill out an intake form right on uh, the internet to make appointments with a coach and uh, any one of our coaches will be happy to walk folks through nice. the process how to get connected to whether it's uh, financing or whether it's just coaching or mentoring mm -hmm. um, any one of our coaches will be happy to meet with folks and get them set up. Nice, nice. Um, so what other components of the organization, what else do you guys offer? So on my, I know it's a lot. Yes, yeah, <laughs> even on just my team. So on, on my team, as I said, we're under the umbrella of the Business Ownership Initiative. So there's the lending arm. We also have the Hispanic Business Council um, that focuses specifically on supports for our um, Hispanic entrepreneurs. We have a huge event coming up next weekend at the track, or next week, nice. sorry, on the 14th, uh, Conexion 5 for 500, where they'll be um, honoring five um, Latinos in the community or nice. Latinas in the community. Um, so they do quarterly events as well. Um, we also have Business Equity for Indy, um, which is a program designed to um, connect black-owned businesses to um, corporate supplier 
and, and procurement opportunities. Historically, um, you know, we haven't always seen some of our large corporations be using those procurement funds mm -hmm. um, to support black and brown businesses. And a lot of times for our, particularly our small businesses, it's hard for them to bid on contracts yeah. that are super large or that have delayed payments so you're not getting reimbursed for mm -hmm. months sometimes. Yeah. Um, and so we actually put the procurement officers and the small businesses in the same room together. Nice. Like, you know, give your pitch. Let's get the process started. At least let's start having those conversations. Absolutely. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we have funding to support um, to offset those contracts until you get paid. It's called the Growth with Accelerated Payment Program. So we can actually give you that contract money up front to help you be um, wow. you know, more competitive with the other companies. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, there's a lot going on on just our team wow, and a lot of different ways that small business owners can plug into opportunities. Yeah, because I think when people think of Indie yeah. Chamber, there is no way that they would even think that there's so much yeah. in that's involved in that. So are you, do they have other programs within the Indie Chamber similar to the one you're with? Um, so we, we are all for the um, entrepreneur services is like all of our small business programs. Then in the larger Indie Chamber, we have um, advocacy programs that um, advocate for business needs at the state house nice. and with our legislators. We are um, focused on accelerating Indie by um, image and attracting more talent to Indianapolis and the Indy region as a whole. So we work with businesses that want to move here mm -hmm. um, to help their employees settle in, to help the businesses themselves wow. find space and get plugged into where they need so that Indy remains competitive on the national stage mm -hmm. with, um, you know, good business and good talent. Yeah. We have a lot of good universities here. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we want those students to stick around. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I probably should have did this before. Can you kind of explain what, why the indie, why a chamber is formed, and what that looks like? Because not a lot may know that. Yeah, we uh, we're a membership organization made up of uh, businesses right here in the Indy region. We serve Marion County and the Donut Counties that touch uh, Marion County, and it's really businesses coming together, uh, kind of to join forces and um, build a better business community. Um, so whether that is, like I said, through attracting talent or giving their input on our spaces and our highway systems and things like that, or whether it's supporting our local small businesses, um, that's uh, why the Indie Chamber exists. Nice, how long has it been around? Oh gosh. Over a hundred years. I oh think. wow! Yeah. Wow, a hundred years! Oh my goodness! Yeah. We, I think it's been a long time. I, I don't know for certain, but I've seen some of the history of our past um, presidents and things, and it goes back quite a ways. Wow! Wow, that's very encouraging, and I love the what you guys have with the entrepreneur part of it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important to carve Especially out space small specifically yeah. for small businesses. I think they have a different set of needs sometimes than our larger businesses, and mm -hmm. small businesses actually are the backbone of the community in the Indy region. Yeah. And so to overlook them, and we're very fortunate to have some national businesses right here locally, and we're grateful for them. But it's the small businesses that you know, are employing most of the folks in the mm -hmm. region. Yeah, how many small businesses do you guys serve? We have over 2,000 uh, members right now um, of, all of all varying levels, and we serve about um, 1,500 uh, small businesses through our coaching program every oh, year. Oh, wow, that's nice. So what does the coaching program look like? Like how long is that pro program? Mm -hmm. um, from, I like to say, tell, tell folks that it's entirely driven up to the business owner, like, Nice. We have a lot going on. Yeah. So it's not a program in the traditional sense of you need to be here at a certain time or we need to meet monthly and I'm going to call and check on you. Right, you right. <laughs> um, I really uh, allow business owners to drive the relationship. So I have folks that meet with me regularly every single month. And yeah. Like I said, they want that accountability partner. We're working on things. We're checking them off. And then I have other folks that say, 
you know, I'll call you when I need you and yeah. something, something comes up and I need to talk something through. Yeah. And so either way, um, you know, we exist to be a listening ear and help out where we can. Yeah. What um, components do you notice small businesses um, neglect? Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say neglect, but I would say just struggle with sometimes. Um, we get a lot of uh, questions about cash flow and forecasting. Um, whether people are, you know, bringing their receipts in a shoebox, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> which we see that, yes. um, we're all the way up to where people have accountants. I think, I think it's hard for business owners sometimes to, um, especially when they're first starting out, to get a handle on their cash flow and then how to project that out and forecast uh, where they're going to be in six months, nine yeah, months. Yeah, it's hard year. because you're like, how am I going to project this? I don't even know if I'm going to still be around. <laughs> yeah, so we have, exactly. So we have some great tools for that. We walk people through it. Nice. Um, so I just met a girl who's still using, um, a woman who's still using the tool that one of the bar coaches gave her six years ago. Oh, my. She said, somebody, one of your teammates gave this to me, and I still use it for my cash flow management. Wow. Um, so that's a big issue that we help with. I would also say marketing, mm -hmm. um, this, the critical step of market research, how to kind of find your place in the market. Yeah. I think people just jump ahead to like, if I put it on social media, they will come. Yes, <laughs> you know? it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. But not taking that critical pre-step to kind of say, let me do the research and find out, you know, what my, even my market position is going to be. Mm -hmm. How am I going to identify? What's my brand? Yeah. Um, so we walk people through that a lot, too. I'd say those are probably my top two. Yeah, I agree with the branding because um, branding is important. Right. And you might, yes, there are other people out there that may do something similar to you, but I always tell people they're not you. Right. So you have to tap into what that looks like. Right. And that needs to scream throughout your whole brand. Yes. Yeah, and, um, yeah, that's exactly right. You you've got to figure out what your little niche is, mm -hmm. you know. And so we walk people through a variety of tools for that too. And um, I always tell folks, you know, I'm not here to tell you how to run your business. I'm not here to pick your brand for you and tell you who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to tell you there are tools that are easy um, to, to that can help you along the way, mm -hmm. and people that want to help you and support you. So hopefully folks will take advantage of that. Yeah. What's your thoughts on AI? Um, well, personally, I mean, from a personal standpoint, sometimes I get a little scared. <laughs> it's like, pretty like, you know, oh, my God, did you just really create that for me? Yeah. I mean, I grew up in the 90s, so the Matrix and stuff, <laughs> like, I go right there. Yeah, like, right. Is this the beginning of I that? Know. You know? <laughs> so I do think um, there are some AI tools that can really be helpful to business owners. Mm -hmm. I think there's ways to use AI creatively that can take a load off of you as Absolutely. a business owner, Absolutely. particularly when it comes to, you know, writing content and things for your business. Mm -hmm. But like everything else, when you're a business owner, you still have to have your eye on it. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? yep. I think that's true for any aspect of your business, whether you have an accountant or a tax mm -hmm. professional or a lawyer, they might be doing the bulk of the work. But you're you're still gonna need to know, you know, what's being done in the name of your business. No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so what events are so you have an event coming up at Daniel's Vineyard? I got an email for that. Yes, and I will be there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that. So, um, for those that aren't members, is it still are your events open for non-members? Yes, all of our women in business events are open for non-members as nice. well. Um, so you can go right on the indie chamber.com website and look at those as you mentioned our next one's in june it was june um, june 6th 6 okay from four to six it'll be at daniel's vineyard it's a great location and a great spot and what i like about this event is it's just a great networking opportunity it is like come have wine with your girlfriends yeah and like absolutely meet people and, and i don't in that where is that is that in mccoursville uh -huh. okay i've not been to that one so I'm looking forward to it. It's a beautiful to... space. I'm excited. Yeah. And then we're also going to do, um, we have a virtual master class coming up mm. in July 31st and August 6th. Uh, registration is going to open the first week of June for that. So I'll be sure to push that information to you. Yeah. And that is specifically for um, women leaders. It's called Leading Out Loud. Okay. And, um, you know, finding our voice 
Nice. Um, and so uh, that will also be a, a free or there might be a nominal fee, but maybe like $10, $15 okay. um, for folks. It'll be virtual. We'd like folks to attend both sessions because yeah. they're going to build on each other. Nice. And um, What just, can people expect from it? Yeah, it's going to be um, run and moderated by Tiffany Olson. She is a 30-year career consultant, but also formerly the CEO of Roche. Okay. Um, and so she is going to be sharing her expertise and nice. wisdom on just what it's been like in her career and sometimes being the only woman in the room and, um, you know, yeah. how, how to lead effectively yeah. um, and, and get what we need to get done done. And so. I love that. Um, and you probably are seeing the shift in it's not about being a boss. It's about being a leader. Right. And leading your team, leading people. Because when people feel like they're led, they tend to buy into it more right. than being told what to do. Right. Exactly. It's about being an effective leader and, and not just leading the people underneath you, but as I said, navigating being the only woman in the room and leading an organization. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we all deal with perceptions. Absolutely. And just navigating the challenges that sometimes mm -hmm. we face. And, yeah. also, and also promoting the assets that we bring. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> to the and, table. And I like that that can even be handed down to even the young women wanting to come into yes. the business field. Um, yes. Because this, whole, this generation is completely different. Mm -hmm. Like they have a voice. They yes. are a little too loud sometimes. <laughs> That I tell my niece. <laughs> so to be able to take the skills and say, no, keep that because right. the world needs that, but let's polish it a little bit. It, you're exactly right. And, you know, all of our events are open for women, like I said, at all levels um, because we really do want to create an environment where we're constantly, I like to say, mentor and also be mentored. Absolutely. Both ways. And yep. so we want to make sure that we're definitely. Uh, creating opportunities for folks um, and the same opportunities that we were given more yeah. and uh, making sure that this next generation is coming up stronger yeah. and faster absolutely and smarter than yeah you know yes. we came up yeah most <laughs> definitely and another one of the um, and I talk about this a lot on my show um, is the legal component of it yeah. you know a lot of businesses don't seek legal counsel right and we know why because of the cost Right. But it's so important because I tell ones like that can be the detriment of your business because you could sign a contract that could have a clause <laughs> in there that could just really mess you up or you could be dealing with a client that doesn't want to pay you your money or a vendor just sends you a, you know, a defective product. But so there's so much um, that people need to have attorneys for. Definitely. Um, we are prohibited from recommending specific attorneys or tax professionals or accountants. But we have. A are whole, you so? Are you able to recommend within the organization though, yeah. or so we don't recommend specific agencies, gotcha. but we do provide folks with a list of resources and professionals that are members of the chamber. Okay. We say any of these, you gotcha. know, are, are members of the chamber. Here's our membership list. Yeah. Um, here's uh, folks that we've worked with in the past on things, mm -hmm. and um, again, it's all about connections. Yes. I think with your attorney and, and some of those other professionals. You need to find someone that fits you in your business. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a lawyer is not something that you just want to pick out of a phone book and say, oh, this is going to be my. Yeah, you want to make sure they have, you know, reputable qualities and skills right. and have been in the business. Um, that's one thing. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Legal Shield. You probably oh, are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, they have a whole small business division, and that has been, I right. would say, within the last 25 years. And it really focuses all on the small business. Um, and it's been, I had a client that, happened to her client didn't want to pay her money she called her law firm they sent the letter she had her money in a few days nice and i'm nice. like just think if you had to continually try to do that that would have took time away from your business right and they're not gonna you i call you they're gonna be like oh it's her again you know but if they <laughs> see a letter with a uh, law firm on top of right. it they're gonna be like oh okay let me maybe i should open this, this. changes people's minds it does yeah and you really want someone that's gonna do that and advocate for you absolutely and that empowerment to help you to when you go into these rooms you can stand just as the other person because most people big corporations have lawyers on staff right they're not gonna move without it Right, and, and it just gives you that added credibility mm -hmm. and, and the added peace of mind. Yeah, 
Yep, absolutely. Right. So I love that there's so many resources available, but again, it's all about education. Yes, education, and as you mentioned earlier, empowerment. Yep. You know, it's not my, I don't tell you, we don't tell you this is what you should be doing. Right. We give you the tools and say, hey, you're not alone. Absolutely. There's a whole community of folks out here. Yeah. Um, yeah that want to help. So can you um, let the people know where they can find you and yeah. um, the Chamber's website um, is in is your particular area a different part of the website or is it yeah so you can go to the indie chamber website is indiechamber.com um, entrepreneur services is a part of that and so that will walk you through um, from lending to our networking opportunities um, you can find me at the central indiana women's business center that's on there as well um, so please reach out like i said you can schedule intake forms right there on on the web and nice. we will give you a call or follow up with you yeah, no, absolutely. And I know my first initial engagement with you was amazing. So I'm excited to, you know, see how this process goes and yeah. really um, be able to take, because I like to be able to do it myself so then I can go in and say, hey, right. you all need to call this person. Right. You need to do this <laughs> because they did this. Right. I, I feel you. I like to do it myself as mm -hmm. well and just see what the process is going to be. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we make it pretty easy for folks. Like mm -hmm. I said, we're happy to meet virtually or yeah. um, I like to come out in the community. I like to visit yeah. the businesses and yeah. when I can. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll make it as convenient as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day for coming. Um, and uh, is there an email address or is everything just on the website? Yeah, my email address is sjames at businessownership.org. So you can always, I'm really quick on email. You can always reach out. And yeah, Melissa, perfect. it's been a pleasure. Thank yes, you so much for having you, me. Thank you. And so this has been Melissa Shaw with Our Generation, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I hope you've gotten education, empowerment, and inspiration, um, knowing that there are tools out there for you guys to be able to utilize. We just have to tap into them. So hopefully you will go to any chamber and look it up and connect with Stephanie so that she can help get you on the right track. Thank you for listening.